Hey, hi! Welcome to the series of A Spice Sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. Today, we would like to discuss about Level 2. A Spice Level 2. What it is and what is the difference between Level 1 and Level 2. Let us get into the topic in the next slides. Level 1 versus Level 2. What is Level 1? Level 1 is performed. So, Level 1 uh, is talking about like when all of your base practices are implemented and associated process outcomes are achieved, then it is said to be in Level 1. So, PA 1.1 is talking about process performance and Level 2 is managed. So, here it comes into the picture of all the generic practices and generic resources. So, PA 2.1 is talking about process, uh, sorry, performance management. So, performance, so it is talking about all the process performances managed or not. So, PA 2.2 is talking about work product management. Work product management for that work products of that particular process is managed or not. So, in level 1, uh, it is said like, you know, all the base practices are performed. So, for example, all the work products are, are available. Uh, so, if I say uh, like the Sway 1 uh, process areas, base practice 1 is different from Sway 2. Uh, base practice BP1 is different. So, similarly, the work products which are associated with Sway 1 and Sway 2 are different. Uh, so, there may be some um, common work products may exist, but there are totally, they are totally different. And this is how it is when it comes to from uh, level 2 onwards, like we have generic practices and generic resources. Uh, so, for level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, all these things we have a generic practice. What is generic practice is we have a common set of uh, um, the practice uh, which is uh, which is generic across, which is common across the process areas. Uh, that means the sway one generic practice uh, of 2.1.1 is very similar to uh, is is same uh, of sway two 2.1. generic practice GP 2.1.1. This is how it is. And uh, PA 2.1 is talking about the objectives are identified, process, mm, sorry, performance is planned and monitored, performance is adjusted, responsibilities and authorities are assigned, resources are identified and made available, interfaces are managed. So, it is talking about estimations, plans, schedule, monitoring, status reports, resource management, improvement objectives, project metrics. So, if and uh, PA 2.2 is talking about requirements for work products are defined, requirements for documentation and control are defined, review and adjust work products, work products are identified, documented and controlled. So, configuration activities like configuration management plan, naming conventions, templates, checklists, reviews, these all are in this process area. So, as I said before, level 2 is also called as managed, right? So, managed means adjusting the performance, right? So, uh, in level 1, we have already have a set of um, set of base practices which we are doing, which we are practicing already and we have a set of work products as an outcome, right? So, now we need to set an objective, we need to set a goal value for that particular uh, uh, activity. Okay, so that goals or objectives are defined or not is the first thing. Okay, and we need to monitor or, or we need to uh, view the performance of that particular uh, uh, process or particular uh, activity. As per particular activity, we need to sh we need to see and we need to adjust it accordingly, and we need to define the roles and responsibilities to fulfill that particular activity we need to find out uh, the interfaces and we need to uh, we need to identify the in identification of interfaces is already there in level 1 but we need to manage the interfaces we need to adjust the resources we need to you know uh, for example we need to deliver the project by the end of this month then by 15th of this month we got to know through the monitoring activity we got to know we are not able to deliver on time so then we need to adjust the resources like uh, we have to make the resources to work uh, extra time 
or we need we can add a buffer resource or for the more resources to the existing team or you know this kind of adjustments or if there is if there is an any hardware dependency then the increase in the hardware resources like uh, the testing equipment or these kind of things all or all all adjusted to meet the expectation similarly pa 2.2 is also talking about the requirements for work products this means like the entire configuration management activities comes into the picture uh, in pa 2.2 that means uh, you have you should have a particular uh, unique identification number or you need unique identification naming convention okay for this particular project uh, and uh, you have to have a configuration management plan you have to have uh, the configuration status reporting uh, you have to identify the templates to be followed checklist to be followed reviews um, and how frequently you have to do the reviews and what are the what is the review outcome and we need to adjust the work product in order to fulfill the requirement so this is talking about uh, pa 2.1 in detail so gp 2.1.1 is talking about identify the objective for the performance of the process so we need to identify the goal value or the objective of the process uh, gp 2.1.2 is talking about plan the performance of the process to fulfill and identify objectives uh, so we need to plan it and uh, 2.1.2.1.3 is talking about monitoring of uh, monitoring uh, of it like means we need to track it 2.1.4 is talking about adjusting adjusting like uh, adjusting or rescheduling revising the plan this all comes into the picture so 2.1.5 is talking about roles responsibilities authorities like you know who will do what uh, what are the skill set he needs so these are all the things. 2.1.6 is talking about identify, prepare and make available resources to perform the processes according to the plan. So uh, and 2.1.7 is talking about manage the interfaces between uh, involved parties. So your 2.2 is talking about PA 2.2 is talking about uh, GP 2.2.1 is talking about define the requirements of the work products. 2.2.2 is talking about define the requirements for documentation and control of the work products. And 2.2.3 is talking about identify, document and control the work products. 2.2.4 is talking about review and adjust work products to meet the defined requirements so if you see the entire thing first thing is you need to define the requirements of the work products then you need to document and control the work products then you need to uh, ident uh, you need to uh, identify document means like we need to define the requirements we need to identify the uh, identify document and control the work product and then we need to review and adjust means like we need to review and revise the uh, work products based on the uh, to fulfill the particular requirement uh, this is how it is so the difference between level 2 and level, level 1 and level 2 and uh, yeah uh, I'm done with the topic like if you want for the more uh, automotive videos uh, which is similar to this thing like subscribe to my channel if you like this concept click on the right uh, like button thank you